Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to this week's edition of First Impression Fridays. Yeah. So let me tell y'all something about this bag job. Okay, so I have a little steamer that steams out all the wrinkles. You can see it's not done because I'm using a little steamer going across up and down, up and down, getting most of the things gone. And then some kind of way I tilted that little steamer over and it threw water all over everything. So excuse the backdrop, it's not my fault. I am so sorry. It should not look this wrinkled anymore. It used to, but not anymore. I, I bought my little steamer just so I could use it. Anyway, on this edition of First Impression Fridays, I wanna talk about a product that I've reviewed on here a couple times now, a brand that I've reviewed on here a couple times now, Japanese Beauty. I have two new little products that I grabbed um, at the 90% off sale at Ulta. I have the Japanese Create Beauty Best Sellers Kit, and it includes a mini Velvet Touch Finishing Powder, a Pro Performance Lipstick, and a Velvet Touch Blush. This product retails for $28. Now, here's the thing. On the top, it says it's a $45, a $45 value, and it was on sale over there for $28. Well, of course, you think I'm paying $28 for that? No, ma'am. It was 90% off. I got it for $2.20, no, $2.80 for this one. Um, and then I have the Japanese Color Correcting Crayon in green. Y'all know I love a green color correction. I actually bought this when I just ran out of my NYX um, Color Correct Concealer. And uh, so we're going to be testing that out too. This one was original price $22.00. Pay two dollars and twenty cents for it. So altogether, this haul was less than five dollars for two Japanese sets and one of them with three products, so four products all together, and I paid less than five dollars for it. Oh, something else I need to say about Japanese beauty. Um, it seems to me, uh, doing all my research trying to find prices and all this, that they don't have a relationship with Ulta Beauty anymore. So I don't know if it's available in some stores. Uh, we have two here in town, and neither one of our stores carries Japanese beauty anymore and they are gone off the website. So I don't know what happened with them. They, uh, the company itself did not go away because um, they still have their website. I'll link, uh, as a matter of fact, you can look at it, I'll put it right there now, and I'll link it down below. But um, they still have uh, their website, but their relationship with Ulta is ended, I guess. I don't know why, but it benefited me because I got everything for 90% off. That being these two, all the brushes I had last year, all of that stuff. I mean, last year. For that big Japanese beauty haul, I, it might ha actually have been last year. All of that stuff was like super duper cheap. I have never paid full price for Japanese beauty. I just didn't. So anyway, if you want to know what I think about these three, well, it's two products, two sets, but technically four products. If you want to know what I think about these products, you can just keep on watching. Thank you. Okay, so the first actual product I want to try for my little Japanese. First Impression Fridays is, so it's the Japanese Create Beauty Color Correct Crayon. This is green, and if you don't know anything about Color Correct Concealer, I'm already color corrected under my eyes. You can see the orange kind of peeking through. I blended it out enough that you don't really see the bright color. Anyway, so you can see my under eyes a little bit brighter. I did a couple of things there with a, um, an orange, and then I had a Benefit Compact that I used. It was a lot of things, but right now we're talking about green. So green is used to cancel out red. Now for me, usually a green pencil is the one that I need the most because I tend to be very red. I don't know why. My nose is always red. I got I get red splotches all over the place. Like when I'm sick, you can see this right here. That's all red, all these little bumps. I don't know where those things came from. I think I was allergic to a hair color or something. So anyway, um, the box, the packaging, just plain, simple, elegant, very elegant, Japanese uh, packaging. It's always the same. So the way they had it, if it had this green line on the barcode, it was 90% off. So I just ran out of my NYX green concealer. And again, green is one I always need because I am always red. I can slide with the under eye concealer if I have like circles or whatever, especially like when I have a migraine, I get really bad circles underneath my eye. So I can slide with a brightening concealer. Red, you cannot get rid of unless you have green. So I'm gonna take this out with y'all. I just took it out a little while ago on the bottom. It has the shade. Top, it has a little lady with a little thing on it, whatever. This is what the crayon itself looks like. It's really pretty, really, really elegant. I just, I love Japanese beauty. I have a lot of their brushes. I haven't, the foundations they had at the time were not any that I could use, and you could tell they were kind of messed up already. This is the, the packaging itself, and this is the pencil itself. So remember the Kick A Word Beauty uh, Lightning Brightener or whatever that I had? That's what this reminds me of, so just a 
little notation. Let's go where I'm red. Oh, it's so creamy, y'all. Already I can tell you it's very creamy. Now, here's the thing with the X. Some people do it just to be trendy. For me personally, I cannot get a straight line if I, I do not make an X. I don't know why that is. I have no idea. But you know what I do think about this though? It's way, way brighter than any green color correct concealer I've ever had. Like it almost looks white, which is not a bad thing because you can use it in places where it's not red to brighten up. Like I said, my nose is always red so you can see my nose is like blended out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this beauty blender. I used it early on something else. It's so still a little bit damp from that, but if it's still, yeah, if it's still not blended out, I'll damp it and go back. I don't wanna lose it. So again, just going in with a beauty spl sponge. A beauty sponge. Okay, so I think I got all I can get out of this thing um, without it being damp, so I'm gonna spray the same lavender water that I'm running out of. Oh, I think I have like 4,000 Victoria's Secret all over mist, so we'll be good to go with that. Um, still just kind of spur around a little bit, a little tiny bit. This is the green pencil so far. I will say I like that it is so creamy and it's so bright. It's like a mint green almost. Instead of like a straight up radioactive green, it's like a mint green, so it's not as bad as uh, some of the other ones to beat and beat and beat and beat and beat and blend and blend and blend and blend. It blended out pretty easily and it made my face look all over brighter. So I'm gonna go do my foundation and we'll be back to talk about the next Japanese product. The second part of our Japanese section is the Japanese uh, bestsellers kit so and it wasn't anything in particular I needed but I just loved honestly I got this for the packaging of nothing else so this is a little set again it looks just like the other Japanese product the um oh the green color curry crayon so basic black and white Japanese style um packaging of course beautiful little design on the side back has ingredients whole nine like always but this is what i really wanted to look at i really wanted to look at the products themselves they're so cute and little look how tiny they are so this is a japanese finishing powder this is a mini lipstick i have no idea what color that lipstick is but i'm wearing it today so and then the blush so let's start with the velvet touch blush this is in shade three i just love this little compact y'all it is just i mean this little set it is so cute okay so the little blush Oh, it's gonna be perfect to travel with and at the front it says Japanese y'all know I always say I like little touches on packaging it's got this beautiful enamel top it's got Japanese written on the front on the back you have Jap Japanese number three velvet touch blush and the little tiny compact oh my I can't y'all so cute oh my god it's so cute okay so let's go ahead and apply it Using a Lisa Frank, uh, I think it was Glamour Dolls, Lisa Frank, yeah. Uh, again, another Ipsy brush. I almost don't even buy brushes anymore because of Ipsy. So I'm gonna smile, apples of your cheeks. Okay. It's subtle, which I need in a blush. I hate a big, loud blush. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and try the little lipstick. It is the Pro Performance Lipstick in shade two. <laughs> Okay, so this is the teeny tiny little lipstick. It is like, I mean, oh, it's so little. I mean, perfect to sample it. I don't know how long it's going to last, but because I definitely need another lipstick. Um, I'll use the finishing powder compact mirror because I know they have a little one in here. I feel like I'm playing with like Barbie doll things. They're so tiny. Okay, so first of all, for those who don't know, I very rarely use the actual twist up stick. I just don't like them. I don't feel like I can control them as well as a liquid. But this one is cute and it's pretty moisturizing actually, surprisingly. It's pretty moisturizing. It is not a, a matte. It didn't claim to be though, so I'm not mad at that. It didn't say it was a matte, but I'll be right back. I just want to trace out my lips and kind of touch up like my scar and a couple other places. So I'll be right back and we'll finish and go over everything together. Okay, people, so I am just about done. Hair is done. Um, just earrings because the, the things are pretty big. I like the pullback hair, though. It's my new vibe lately. So I have one more thing to review from the Japanese um, First Impression Fridays, and it, it is the Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. Now, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with Japanese Beauty, they, are, uh, they have a whole Velvet Touch line. Like, I have the primer. The Velvet Touch primer is the clear one. 
it's bomb it's really really good like i was using it for a while but now since it's summer my skin is so dehydrated i've been doing um hangover rx and tarte base tape that's what i've been using lately but the japanese primer is very very good and they give you a good bit in the bottle it is expensive it's 40 dollars, but it's good so wait for like the ultra 21 days of beauty and you'll be good to go i'm laughing because this compact is so cute uh, the blush is cute too but anyway, so this is the finishing powder. So my face is pretty much completely done. I'm gonna go back over that lipstick again just cause it looks so, it's kind of fading a little bit, but it's really pretty. So I'll do that right before I finish review. But just like the cute little blush, this is the Velvet Tut Finishing Powder in shade one, which is like a translucent kind of powder. It's a finishing powder. There's no, let me make sure I'm right. There's no little teeny tiny powder puff or anything like that. I do see that you could pop these out. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but I guess if you need to replace it or something. So I'm going to use this huge brush in this teeny tiny little compact and try to... Uh, it works! It's awesome. So I'm just going to dab or I need extra finishing powder. No, okay. I want to make sure that blinding highlight is still there because it's a weird situation with powder like you want to make sure that you're not looking shiny but if you already did a blinding highlight and a finishing powder you know kind of hard I, and i know some people do it after but i literally use a finished powder finishing powder to finish my look i know a lot of people don't but i do quick set with my new well not not my new favorite but one of my favorite setting sprays the dewy set from anastasia just gonna do a quick little mist because i'm not gonna say what product it is but i tried a product today that really made my skin look like i mean so pasty it was horrible so to go back and use um mac charge water and then to finish my look i still had to spray the dewy sex it just made me look like a ghost and i was not having that so i'm gonna go back in with the little lipstick the little japanese i think it's shade two yep pro performance lipstick and while i'm going over while i'm doing that we can talk about each product so starting with this one it is so teeny tiny. It's the cutest little thing. It's not meant to be a lipstick. It's a bestsellers kit. So it's not, I mean, you're not gonna use this every day. It's so tiny, but like for travel, it's perfect. And I really like it. It's, color wise, I am usually a nudie beauty. I like a good nude gloss, a good nude gloss, a good nude matte color. And this is not nude. It's a little pinker than nude and it is not matte. But I hardly ever use a twist up stick. So for this being a twist up stick, it's good. I mean, it works. I like it. It's cute. All parts of the Japanese uh, best seller, best, best seller kit. So I already talked about the lipstick. Again, that was the pro, um, pro performance lipstick in shade two. So that one I'm gonna stick in here. It's okay. It's not great. Not horrible. I mean, it didn't dry out my lips, so it didn't harm my look. So I, I, it's pretty good. The Velvet Touch Blush in shade three. So this is the blush. It's a very, very gold-ish blush, like a peachy kind of blush. And it's very, very sheer. It just gives like a tiny little hint of blush. Y'all know me, I like that in a blush. I just need a little tiny bit of color. I don't need to look like I fell in a cherry pie. I don't need to be looking, I just, this is enough for me. And then the finishing powder, you guys just saw me apply it. I love it. Um, for a little travel powder, it's the bomb. Like I, it's so, and even if you're not using it, like if you're not using it because it's the best powder in the world, the compact is so, so, so cute. I'm switching out my eight cosmetics with this. Like as soon as I'm done talking to you, I'm switching it out. Cause I just, I like this one so much better. And the little, the little, it's a cute little package. It's so adorable. And I have a um, fold up kabuki brush that I use. So like it'll fit in that little teeny tiny uh, compact. So the Japanese best sellers kit from Japanese beauty. Um, it was $28 retail price. It was $2.80 at the 90% off sale. So would I give this little thing a diamond? Girl, yeah, it's three Japanese products for $3. You can't get three NYX products for three dollars so this i mean the packaging the enamel on the compacts the fact that each little tiny compact has a mirror everything i love it and i love this so this is good and then last but not least the japanese create beauty color correcting crayon it was 22 dollars. i paid two dollars and 20 cents for it i like it a lot i really do it came out um 
it was a lot brighter than green like it was like a really enlightening color and it was really really pretty and it brought like certain areas of my face like light that i wasn't expecting it canceled out the red and it made my face just overall look better and that's what i look for in a makeup so both of these together this new uh japanese product first impression fridays both of them would definitely definitely get a dime it was such a good deal i don't know why ulta's not carrying japanese beauty anymore i don't know why the two of them have kind of split brands but i mean for me it was beneficial because everything was 90 percent off so i got these i got all those brushes i showed you all a while back i'll link that video below thank you so much for watching check out the coordinating blog for this for uh more information like where to get it now it's few and far between at this point but you can check that out thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments you can leave it on any of my social media which is always the last page see you next week bye